The idea is that we think it might be a feeding hotspot, and so that's why we're down here. We're looking at what they could potentially be feeding on. There do seem to be a lot of humpback whales in the area, so trying to see if they're feeding on krill or fish. So we have a team of observers up top, and we're scanning the water, looking for humpbacks, and then where we find the whales, there's another team of people looking on an echo sander to see what might potentially be in the water, what they could be feeding on. And so when we find those areas, we put a trawl net over the boat to see what's in that layer. So we're essentially fishing to see what the whales are going to be feeding on. What we're doing here on this voyage is we're listening for whales. We're using the whales' sounds as a primary means of finding these whales. Antarctic blue whales make a couple of different types of calls. They're just barely audible to us. They sound very bassy and um, almost like a, a low rumble rather than a sound. You almost, when you have the headphones on, you almost feel them more than you hear them. So the task is to get the ship in close proximity to the whales for photo identifications. It's, um, it's quite a challenge, but it's one I really enjoy. As of today, during this project, we have photo identified 18 individual blue whales. One of them we identified four times, and that whale we first uh, photographed and identified it at the Bellanies a week ago. And then um, after the Bellanies, three days later, we photographed it um, in an area of blue whales that was to the east of the Bellanies. And then the very next day, again, and a little further east from the Bellanies, we photographed it. And then we just had it yesterday in this Polinia. So, yeah, it's been moving with us or we've been moving with it. Currently they catch around 3,000 tons of toothfish from this area every year. We're not here so much for the toothfish, but we're interested in the bycatch species of the fishery. Those fish are caught by the toothfish longlines, but they're also important because they're the main prey species for toothfish in this area. So what we're interested in is monitoring the abundance and distribution of these species to help inform the management of the fishery. The idea behind this mooring is we want to find out more about silverfish migration during the winter and if in fact silverfish do migrate into Terra Nova Bay to deposit the eggs or if the eggs get um, carried in by the currents. So the Eco Sounder will operate from June till about November. Um, after that our colleagues at the Italian base will be able to come along and pick it up. One of the things we're interested in is this um, area around the Bellini Islands. There's really high concentrations of humpback whales. They come to feed there in the summer. And this is coincident when you look at satellite imagery, you can see that there's really high concentrations of primary productivity of algal biomass for about four months of the year, which is exactly the time when the humpbacks are there and they're feeding there. But Interestingly, to the east of the Bellini Islands, which is where we see blue whale aggregations, we get much lower algal biomass in the water there. So we're making a lot of physical and chemical measurements in these two areas to try and understand why they're so different. 